Woo! I'm Murray the Magician, yeah! Ooh, I love a good magician. Johnny? Showtime, go time! Woo. He's got the showtime. What's wrong with his go time? John, he's actually our second contestant of the day. He's just, you know, waiting in line for the facilities. Right, ladies first, even on Wipeout. And these unisex bathrooms, they're gonna cause quite a backup. Not to mention the bran muffins we served at breakfast. He's going number three? This could take a while. Oh! <laughs> wow, sorry, that restroom's occupied. <laughs> by a 10-ton mallet. Now Magic Murray can finally take on our course. Gives a whole new meaning to now you see it, now you don't. What kind of strategy should Murray use here on the Johns, John? So I'm potty training my kids, and it really helps to have a special phrase that prompts them to Magic go. Magic time! Hey, that's it! Whoa! 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 Murray making his living tricking people. Surprised he was caught off guard by that thing. Whoa. Yeah, he was completely bowled over. Whoa. Now Magic Murray can practice his sleight of hand at the sucker punch. Pick a glove, any glove. Just not that one. Oh. Ah, wow, Murray gets decked, and he's going the wrong way. I believe that's what magicians call misdirection. Now Murray's set up for a showdown with Rocker Smallsy. Yep, that hairstyle's not big enough for the both of them. I'm gonna pull a victory out of the hat. Would you settle for a motivator out of a ramp? Out of the damn. Whoa! Ah. Now that's real close-up magic. Don't mess with the great Smallzini. I'd say that was a hair-raising trick, but we're a little late for that. Ah. Ah. Very complicated strategy on the slide, John. I'm gonna suggest starting at the top, sliding to the bottom, and trying not to fall. Oh, boy. Does that look like I'm flying? That looked good on paper. He's the consummate performer, Johnny. He was going for a levitation trick. He's more like he got sawed in half. He's got one more obstacle to go here. Hey, Ballsy's cranked up the ball even. Come on, a ball driving a monster truck? What could go wrong? Oh, wow. <laughs> Magic Murray appearing at the finish line in a time a shade over five minutes. Ta-da! Made it! Back at the top of the course, 25-year-old Maryland native Kelly Garner slides into the qualifier. And Johnny, keep an eye on her because she says she can outwit the other wipeout contestants by playing head games. <laughs> Down again. Okay, I think I slowed it. Slowing down to go faster, huh? Let the head games begin. I'm probably the first person to wipe out twice before I got to a course. Technically, the second. We <laughs> count the identical twins as one person. <laughs> All right, Kelly's back up, ready to hit the head. Careful now, this one hits back. Oh, shoot. Oh! <laughs> She really hugged the porcelain on that one. Voice of experience, Jill? Been there before. Wow. When Kelly blows up a bathroom, she does not mess around. No, she prefers to mess with people's minds, John. She even brags she could get Jill to run this course. Wagner? No way. Have you ever tried to do the White Bottle Show? No. You can go on it, and you can win so much money. You'll do great. Trust me. You're I don't want to disappoint my dad. You would never disappoint your dad. He might actually be more proud of you. You're right. Wow. Kelly's really good at head games. I mean, Jill looks confused or she's standing downwind to the John. Hard to tell. Kelly's head games might work on Jill, but she'll need pure speed and courage to get past the ball he missed. Balls we won't fall for head games, John. Technically, he's got no head. Too late, Johnny. Kelly crushing it here at the Monster Truck Show. Oh, oh, oh. ow. <laughs> See, that is why I will not go through this course. Clearly, she was too tired to make the final platform. Yeah, but she made enough progress to take over the lead, Johnny. She comes in 30 seconds faster than Magic Murray. Wow. Weak minds, watch out. This girl's got head game. Here we go, baby. Nobody's getting in this guy's head, Johnny. That is a classic front post half double crochet headband, if ever I've seen one. So you know crochet, Johnny? Yeah, I don't have the upper body strength for needlepoint. Oh, oh, oh. oh! John, this is Taylor Hoke, and I think that's the last time you'll ever see that lovely headband. Because I am certainly not going in there to get it. Yeah, but don't worry, you called it. Taylor is fully capable of making himself another. What is this headband, and where can I get one? Actually, I crochet for a living, so I made it with my hands. I sell stuff online. Back home, they call me the Crochet King. I also knit. You call me Sir Knits a lot. You have options. Crochet King, huh? Didn't know the crochet world was a monarch. Yeah, not sure how Taylor ascended to that throne. But at the play pound, he's got to use a ladder. Looks like the king's getting overthrown. Oh, baby! Oh! Sorry about that skin exposure. Yeah.